Hello everyone, welcome back to our training video. Today we are going to talk about our listing process. This is the first class of our listing process for the seller agent. Today we are going to talk about a practical plan for the real, real, uh, real estate listing and the farming. Okay, so as the same as like before, if you never subscribe our channel, YouTube channel, you can subscribe. If you like our video, please don't be shy, just click like. And if you have any question, please feel free to discuss below. Alright, let's start. Today's topic will cover those. First one, how to plan your listing farming. Next one, listing farming area select and customize. Uh, following is the listing form overview. How to use uh, Canada Post uh, to send uh, your flyers. Last one is MLS new status, how to use uh, add, edit, and update your status. So this is the, uh, basically this is the uh, f general flow for the as listing agent, whatever you are new or you already in the business for a few years, you have to really think about that, how I'm going to start my business. The first one, how to plan your listing and farming. So the listing is really different with the buying. The listing is usually there are three sources that can come from client. The first the source is from your friend. We have a lot of the agents that said that my, I have a friend who is waiting my license when my license can get approved. So. You can test because usually we have some agent after the recall license get approved, they come back to ask their friend. Maybe their friend will scare. They say, "Oh, I just maybe later. Maybe they have a lots of the excuse because they don't want to give you because they know you are new. They just, uh, you know, that is for just uh, you know you are uh, ready. Uh, ready. Uh, you know you are going to." get a license for the real estate, just give give you the, just, uh, just saying it's not a serious. So don't treat your friend as serious because sometimes they don't want to give their property to some new salesperson. If they really give it to you because they are your true friends. Next one is from the farming area because the farming area is the source is unlimited. You have to take your time, take your money, spend your money, spend, take your, uh, effect to uh, doing the farming area. After six months, one year or two years later, you will find that the result will come out. It's not immediately, but you take time. The last one is uh, whatever you have listing with yourself, maybe you want to sell your own property or friend's property, don't forget, you have to send a flyer. It's just a list flyer, just open house flyer, just sold the flyer. That's for like flyers can bring you potential buyer, seller, potential business. So that is another source can come from the seller. Okay, so I will quickly share my few listing from myself because this is I talk in the classroom. Lots of the people very interested in the topic. I will quickly talk about here. This is my first few listing. When I get my license, I talk to lots of my friends. Uh, basically, it's not a, it's a, I know the people when I work in different area. I meet some people. I talk to them. They know I get a license. This is one of the one of the is called friends because uh, we working together before in a pizza pizza store. And he said, "Oh, I want to sell my condominium. You can try to help me to sell. I know you are new." but I want to give you the opportunities. So I spend my lots of time. I do advertising, newspaper, YouTube video, and the open house. Uh, of course, there's no open house because it's condominium. And uh, after try the, after two weeks later, there's not too many showing, but then I terminate the listing, another try, uh, put on the market. Uh, just a few days later, after almost two weeks, 
and Phil Hewing and one of the agents said they want to put the offer. So if they want to put the offer, their client interest, you know, I read it in the book at that time because I was trying to learn more. The, they said that if there's anyone show the interest, you should immediately to build up the, you know, their passion. If the buyer want to buy, why not bring them to the offer presentation? You cannot say, oh, send me an offer, I will, uh, get, send me an offer, I will present it to a seller. Maybe send back within another two days, so one 24 hour days. Maybe the buyer, they will think about buying another property. So I asked the buyer agent, why not come over? We have a offer presentation. Quickly, we set up the offer presentation. The buyer agent with the buyer in the parking lot. I just go there upstairs to talk to the seller, and then we do the offer presentation. So the buyer, they give the offer, I bring up to the seller, seller say, oh, the price is very good. It's over, before they won the 149, and uh, now the price is over 149. <laughs> they said that price is really, really good. If any price of over 149, I will take it. So I try to help them get a more, little bit more. So finally, you know, price is 158, and they really like. Uh, after we do the few run, because I don't want the first run just accept the offer because the buyer think this is too easy. They will easily to walk away, easy to get the offer, easy to walk away. So few run, and uh, the seller accept the offer, and both of the seller on title, but one of my friend is working a pizza pizza in the north of the Georgia. It's already nine, uh, nine o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. So another agent said, I need to get the signature from the seller. Okay, so I will call. We go there to get the signature from the seller. I drive the car, go with the buyer agent to there almost 40 minutes. On the way to there, we talk on the car. Uh, the buyer agent said, this is my first offer. <laughs> I talked to him, this is my first this thing too. So you know, two brand new agent make a deal. Yeah, this is, uh, we'll show you. All right, so this is uh, uh, another listing. It's from the, my farming area. This is my farming area. I just quickly pick up the area in nearby my, pro my where I'm, I live in at that time, and uh, there's a townhouse, almost like 112 properties. I drop off flyers every one or two weeks. Nobody respond. I even see some homeowner say hello, and uh, no response. After s almost three, four months later, six months, yeah, almost three, four months later, and uh, one day I Draw, uh, uh, send a flyer to this homeowner. It's raining, very heavy thunderstorm come. I just uh, stop by their uh, garage. They ask me to come into the garage. They are cooking the garage. So I ask them, why you cook in the garage? They said, that, you know, they want to keep the house clean. So wait for a few minutes, the rain still not stop. They borrow me an umbrella. umbrella. I keep continuing to send out a flyer. Next day, I send the thank you notes and uh, return the umbrella to them. After a few weeks later, they call me. They said, oh, I remember when I, I want to sell my property, I have some agent already give me the CMA. They said their price is 239, but uh, I remember I talked to you. I want to get a third opinion. So how much you think you can help us to sell I asked them, did you ever send this agreement? They said, no, not yet, but uh, they will have an appointment later. So I said, give me a chance, I can try. So this is uh, my first listing. It's really over their expedition. After this uh, listing, you know, I send uh, just this flyer, get a YouTube video, use a lot of the promotion items, uh, feature sheet, and uh, newspaper advertising, and uh, finally sold the record price, and a uh, lot of the neighbor is surprised. After that listing, uh, there's another homeowner, they called me, they said, oh, I see your flyers, and I want to sell my property, when you, wanna, when you can come over to, we can meet, we can talk about that. 
So I set appointment two days, 48 hours later. It's Saturday, I set appointment for next Monday. And we, before the seven o'clock the next Monday, I come to the appointment. I just wonder, see, maybe they just ask a price. Maybe they just ask how I sell the property. Shall I print all the leasing agreement? I just hesitated. And then I said, yes, I had to prepare everything well. Then I print all the leasing agreement and my estate then try all the forms, I go to the listing presentation. So when I be arrived there, the lady opened the, the lady opened the door and uh, she asked the first question, how are you going to market market my property? Marketing my property. I just have all the documents ready and she'll talk to her how I am going to marketing. And the next question she asked, you know, how much the commission I tell her, you know, 5% is our office standard, but uh, you know, this area is uh, the area I work in. I like this area very much. I will only give a special rate, special rate is 4.5%. Then she keeps it silent. It's very quiet. After like uh, most 30 seconds, nobody talk. Then I just uh, invite action. I said, shall we start the paperwork? She said, why not? I'm waiting. Then I quickly to finish the paperwork, just get out the property, prepare the next one, next open house, upload the listing. That is the second listing I got. When I do the open house, there's a client walk in. They said that they like the property and I help them to purchase the property for, you know, double end. I did, I do, did double end. But there's an open house, some client, they said, I like the property, but uh, I don't want the maintenance fee. I help them to find another property. It's dumbbells and steels. It's come from the open house client. It's me. And after I sold the seller's property, they said I have to move to another area. I said, which area do you want to move? It's the French and the morning side. Because I know the lots of the area, especially the French and the morning side. I said, uh, yeah, I suggest you don't move that area because I, she said, I know, but I grew up that area. <laughs> I born that area. Okay, I have nothing to say because their parents live in there. Anyway, I asked their parents, uh, their spouse name, their kid's name, because uh, her spouse is a uh, child. That's why when I find the, uh, when I do research, there's a street name called Chart Crescent. So I put it in my list. Because this property is not really good. If, if this is not because of Chart, I won't put it in my list. Finally, they chose this street. I think most of the reason is because street name. But you never know. Yeah, this is my another transaction. But after a few months later, you will see in my farming area, I did uh, one is my another listing. This is the second listing. This listing gave me a double end. One is at the listing site, one is a call site. Because the open house of the working client, I help them purchase another property. And the seller, they purchase another property. Just like a few months, this is I didn't count another listing from the first listing. It's already make $31. So that's why I always, always ask an agent Find the area, work in it. You will work hard, you will get a result. If you never find the farming area, just watching, you never get any result. Because this is the game of the real estate, is you have the personal participate. It's not a watch. It's not a, the game. You, you see there and watch what happens. Is you have the personal participate, make it happen. Who am I? We are the agent for the salesperson. We cannot do anything. We just uh, very simply, we are the salesperson. We are con consultant. We are not, uh, you know, to do uh, like uh, accountant legally. Don't treat ourselves as everything you can do. What do we do? Just a buyer seller. Every day when we wake up, we have to think about we need to find a buyer and a seller. When uh, what came with the buyer, we talked about uh, last month, and now we talk about the seller. The seller one is come from referral or the 
some people you know, but that is very limited. How many people you know? How many people willing to give you the business? It's really limited. But from the farming area, it's unlimited. Now we talk about the farming area. Farming area first is you have to consider the time. If you said I just want to see maybe one or two months, if that、uh, work to me, I will go hurt. If not work to me, maybe I will go find another way. If you don't consider as、uh, one or two mo- year, at least I think one or two years. If you don't consider as that longer, don't do farming budget. You have to very carefully to ca- calculate your budget. Budget is very important. If you have limited budget, trying to start from a small farming area, because lots of people will burn down. They just trying to get ten thousand homes for the farming area, but after a few months, they don't have budget, almost bankruptcy. The effect, you have to how are going to do it. You have to have a plan. We will talk about later plan. The result, result is really important because you have to always to、uh, update yourself and see because we will have to, maybe some way is working with you, some is not work with you. You have to、uh, review. You always review. Now we talk about、uh, how to choose, select the area. The area select first is we choose the listing. You have a listing currently. You have listing because very fortunately some people they have listing. The friend give you listing. You have your own home. You want to sell. You have listing. You can use that listing area as your current as your farming area. But you say I don't want because that is just by accident. Someone give me a listing. I don't want that area. That's fine. Maybe you can choose the area where you live. This is the area you come every day. Come back every day. You know the school, you know the community, you know the、uh, shopping center, you know the bus, you know everything. Can help you save lots of time. You can start from where you're living. Maybe the area is a new area. It's a new subdivision. They have less competition. And、uh, maybe it's a farm area, rural area from the outside of the city. Maybe it's a small builder developer. That is, if you have lots, lots of the buyer give it to some builder, the builder will ask you to do some listing for them. Notice, if you choose the area, first is send the notice. Let this area people know you are going to in charge to help the neighborhood for their real estate needs. Send the notice. I never see any people send a notice. I see some people send a flyer. Maybe they come to this area quietly. One day they leave quietly. Nobody know when they come. Nobody know when they left. So you should send a notice. Give yourself a commitment. Next is a, a market update information. Every month we have an update. Ma- market update. You should send the update, market update, and uh, uh, use your own read, understand, and give the the right article. Next is、uh, just list postcard. If there's any listing, just list. You can send just new, li- just a list newsletter, because uh, most of the people they want to know what happened in this area. And uh, but uh, it's not everyone will go to the community center. Will go to online to check. You can physically go to community center. You can go online find that there's any of the event. Put in your uh postcard. Put in your newsletter. Send it to the neighbors. Let them know there's a swimming class. There's a, a tai chi class. There's a table table tennis class. There's any of the event in this community. And、uh, people maybe you know they just focus on this event. They will keep this card. Also keep the information for your、uh, name, contact information. Holiday greeting card is also another one for every month, most of the month. Next is for the cold call.、Uh, not really popular, but you still can try. Door knocking. You can maybe one once、uh, one. <coughs> 
once a week or twice a w-、uh, once a week, you can do a door knocking. Let the people never know who you are. Don't hunger, and the school community even the sponsor. This is another way because a lot of family parents will go to school if they have any event. You can ask a school. I want to be a sponsor. Most of the school really glad you want to be a sponsor. You have a banner put there. Your name will be there. The parents will know you because they see receive flyer, door、uh, knocking. They see you sponsor、uh, on the event. They see your banner. This is will let you your name will become the brand. Brand is called branding. We build up the branding. Give away promotion item. Think about in the next, from now to next year, how many give away promotion item? Maybe flashlight with your name, maybe pen with your name, USB, uh, print your name. Every month you give away to the neighbors. People will keep it. People will know notice the name who give this inform uh give that those、uh, promotion item to them. They will memorize your name. But the important is that we'll be doing the business with you. All right, so this is we will quickly just bring some idea to you, can help you. First is find the area, want to start your farming, and、uh, what for the details. You know you can send the flyers, you can do the promotion items, and、uh, how. What you want to do just depends yourself, but we just bring some ideas. Okay, let's quickly go next is the listing forms. This is for the when we prepare the listing, we always need to know which form we have to use. First one, we use working with the realtor. This is the introduce re- agency relations. Next one, six thirty individual identification form. That means we have to ask the seller provide their photo ID. We know who they are working. And also, we have to ask them the reason I want to ask your ID is I want to make sure you are the homeowner. I don't want someone else to sell your property. You don't want to, right? So that is、uh, we can ask them provide the photo ID. Next one is leasing agreement. Two ninety is MI data form. Two twenty is SPIS seller property information statement. Office checklist. So that is for all the form for freehold. Same thing for the condo. It's only the date form different. And the next is for the for lease. Lease is the same thing, but、uh, just a data form. And the listing for lease is different. Next is a commercial. We don't want to waste a lot of time here, but you just、uh, quickly you can find those form in the our office website. I copy from our office website. Okay, let quickly go through from the form. Seller's initial. You have to ask a seller initial on top MLS. Or exclusive. Usually, we put an MLS. We ask the seller initial here, and the other seller's legal name, property address, the contract date. Lots of people made a mistake here, and the contract date is if you you ask the seller send the contract today, and they want to put on the MLS next Monday. You can put the commencing commencing day is next Monday. It's not today's date, because if you put today's date next Monday, you put them to the MLS. The DOM is not zero. Maybe it's already three or four. If over four days, you cannot put on the MLS. So that's why you ask always, always ask that when you want to put on, when when you want me put on the MLS, let every agent know your property is available. If the seller say, oh, I want to put on my MLS, maybe tomorrow, maybe two days later, put this MLS date. And if the seller say, oh, I really don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Then you said, you know what? I will put t- t- tomorrow tomorrow's date.、Uh, if tomorrow you cannot let me know, I will change it. You will initial it when you want to put on the market. But this is must be sixty days. If the seller said, I only want you to put on the market for the ten days, it's not happen. Maybe you can put the sixty days, and after ten days, if the seller is really aggressive, they ask you must ten days. You know, after ten days, we have to pre. The, we have to prepare the cancellation in the ten days. But why you waste the time? Ten days usually won't sell. Total commission. Commission is for the total commission.、Uh, number two, we have lots of the agents said, "Oh, I only charge the seller maybe one percent. I give 
cut off agent 2.5%. They put 1% here, 2.5% here. So some seller, most of the seller is okay, they don't know. But some seller, they, they already have a license before or they someone, they can tell them the brokerage only charge you 1%. Remember, only give the 1% to the listing brokerage. If that's in case, you have to give, you have to give the commission from your own pocket, 1.5%. So this is total person, total commission. That means if you charge 1%, and uh, you have to write down 3.5%, it's not a 1, because this is total commission. Remember, remember, always remember. And all commissions include the tax. Whatever the last sentence said include or not here, but you have to uh, explain to the seller, this is 3.5% plus tax, plus tax, plus tax. Because a lot of people from different country, and uh, after closing, they come to, uh, call office or come to office ask why you charge me tax this HST. You never agent ever mentioned the HST. So we have to explain to them the last sentence said all the amount set of the commission to be paid such a applicable tax. They said oh you never mentioned but I don't know this is extra money. You know some people they never know. So as agent we have to mention it before. This is a three point five plus HST. And the signature for your signature, seller signature, and that's, uh, here is a does not. That means if this listing is expired or terminated, do you want the other agent to, uh, this contact after expired? Do you want the other agent to bother your client all the time? This is usually I want to say, but uh, anyway, you don't want the other agent to, if you say does, that means yes. Uh, contact after expired, yes. That means the other agent can contact your client after expired. Okay, so this is a full process, working with realtor and the 630 individual identification form, leasing agreement, MIS data form, SPIS. Next is uh, how to use the uh, Canada Post Center flyers. Uh, log into Toronto MLS and uh, click a search property. And uh, on the right side, you will see product and the service, product and the service. And uh, on the left, you will see add mail. From add mail, you click Canada Post. Canada Post is only charged 10.2 cents per piece. Right now, the regular mail is supposed to one dollar. And create an order. And because it, I will suggest you click here online map. And the reason is that you don't don't know which which uh, map which route you have to send. So click uh, here. And uh, but right now, remember this is uh, I did still not update this. Uh, uh, training slide yet. Right now, the uh, Canada Post they upgrade, update new version. But I just uh, use the old uh, version to do the training. If you have a new version, you try to play around. If you really don't know, maybe you can. They have a uh, support. You can call support or play around. I think it's really easy to. I just uh, help some agent to use a new version. It's really easy. This is the old version. It's uh, Ontario. Click urban area and find the postcode. And from postcode, just go to, go to LCW map. And this could give you the, you know, different color represent the different route. For example, we want to send a, post, send a flyer to 16 and young. And this area is the LC 34. This is the young and the 16, 34. And we just write down the 34, LC 0034. And then we come back 34, they have uh, almost a 494 house. So we come back to the main page. We just write down L4C. Write down your name when you want to drop off. Usually when you drop off the next day, Canada Post will send that to the uh, homeowners. Write down the standard and uh, write down your contact information and uh, click OK. Next step, OK. And they will give you the location where you need to drop off your print postcard. This is location to give you. And the next click ho <coughs> house, <coughs> click house, and then click L4C, open the L4C, you will see the LC for 34, 494 piece. And uh, each bundle is 100 because they ask you for 100 per bundle. Because 400, almost 500, you need a five bundle. And the customer supply their own container. Next. This is the price, 
$56, drop off here and uh, pay by credit card. After pay by credit card, they have a document. You have to print out every document, maybe three or four document. You, there's uh, your receipt, there's a uh, uh, mailing lab, la label, you have to send it to the here. Bring everything, print out. Don't forget to print out. Keep it for your tax receipt and send it to this address. They will help you to send out. That's for the Canada Post. And the last one is MLS, how to use that to add edit. Add edit is under the search. If you are the really, really new agent, you will see you are not allowed. You have to let Tony know or me know. We can help you to open the uh, permission. But the most of people will already help you to give you the permission. Add edit. Add edit, you can add a listing. But this listing, you already signed a listing agreement with your client. Uh, for example, this is the listing they list before. You can copy MLS number. Use a column listing. Column listing can help you finish out the 80 or 90 percent of the information. When you finish the column, you can save draft or submit. Before you submit, always double check because this is the last information you need to update. When you come back, you can click Add Edit, go to Draft, click, you save the draft, continue. Because this is, if you are not ready yet, you can always go here. But remember, if you, this is not a real listing, always, always don't click Submit. Once you submit, it's real life for every agent. Every agent will be available. It's really difficult to terminate. Okay, this is for the edit listing. If you have a listing, you need a change. It's already sent to MLS. You just get the MLS number. You can click edit listing, put the MLS number. You want to edit the detail. You want to change the status. You want to edit the open house. You want to manage a photo, manage app attachment. So all which one you want to do the, uh, do the uh, edit. Usually we do just do one is edit the detail or status change. Only this first two. We do the second one for the status change. There's a list, list. This is, I don't have a listing, I just use one list. Usually it's sold, or sold condition, sold. <clears throat> so if you have any problem, maybe let friend, friend desk know or let me know, we can help. Okay, so that's all for the today. First is the first training of the listing uh, farming area. And if you have any question, please uh, Put your comments below, and uh, we will see you next time. All the prepared information. See you next time. Bye bye.